Hello. For those of you who don't know, my name is Tim Grimes, and a lot of the manifesting law of assumption, law of attraction advice I give uh, basically starts where most of the stuff we hear on YouTube ends. This video today, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot like that. Um, before we get into it, I want to briefly mention, in case you're interested, that Marvin Daniels and I uh, have a SP coaching program. We are uh, providing free consultations, short, you know, 20 minute or so consultations, no pressure. You don't have to sign up for anything. Um, we're offering those consultations. If you have SP issues, if you want to resolve, you know, romantic relationship issues that you've had for years, we can help you do that. You can sign up for a free consultation. If you fill out the questionnaire, the link will be below. And Along those same lines, below the link for the questionnaire to fill out if you want a free consultation, Marv and I are offering, um, or hosting, I should say, a free seminar, October 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern. Free seminar, Monday, October 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern, where we are going to talk about one of the easiest things you can do, the one thing that you can easily do to turn around uh, your relationship situation and to turn around your, your social situation. There, there's one thing that is so obvious but is so, uh, you know, under-discussed in the quote-unquote SP community that, that you really should know about. You can, ho you can join that uh, free Zoom seminar. I'll put a link below to the Zoom seminar as well if you're interested. So with those pieces of info out of the way. You see how mellow I am today? My gosh. Um, I want to talk about something that I've seen quite a few commenters and, and a few clients even mentioning recently, which is that they are ter terrified of their thoughts because they're afraid that they are going to be imagining something incorrectly by having these, these thoughts that are quote unquote negative, right? You know, Neville and so many others basically say, always imagine lovingly. Yet, once you get into this stuff, you realize it's very difficult to imagine lovingly a lot of the time. And that we have a lot of negative resistance, a lot of negative thoughts uh, that come up throughout the day. When we're going through a difficult period in our life, you know, and we're feeling uncomfortable emotions like sadness or fear or shame, often it seems like the thoughts we are having are overwhelmingly negative, right? In my book, The Joy of Not Thinking, I talk about how it seems like, you know, most of us have this negativity bias. And part of the work of, of you know, law of assumption, law of attraction type advice is working with that negativity bias so we become friendlier with our thinking. But because imagination is such a loaded term, and because it's so vague, what it actually means a lot of the time, I mean, it's a very hard thing to define what your imagination is. I hear a lot of folks really concerned about their thinking and believing that, you know, well, I'm thinking uh, bad things about myself, so these bad things are going to happen to me. I'm going to manifest them. Fortunately, at least in the vast majority of cases, that is not going to be what happens. You know, and it's only because of poor explanations uh, on social media and elsewhere that people really think that the literal negative thoughts they have are going to turn into reality very quickly. The truth of the matter is we have thousands and thousands and thousands of thoughts each day, right? And those negative thoughts in and of themselves are not really that big a deal, even if they're highly negative. What is a big deal, but becomes a big deal, and why stuff negative manifests in our life, generally speaking, when we have those kind of negative thoughts over and over and over again, is we react to them and play into them emotionally. See, imaginatively, you could say, we shape our life, but not through the individual thoughts we have, but as much, as much as the emotional power we put behind those thoughts, the belief we put behind those thoughts of how valid they are. 
we become our own worst enemy when we start believing in these negative thoughts. I, oh, I'm, I'm not a good person. I'm not good enough. I can never meet that person. I can never have that kind of job. I can never make that kind of money. I'm never going to be healthy. When we confirm this and react in such a way to these thoughts, they become a self-perpetuating cycle. And it's, it's a, a cycle you could say of lack, right? To use a popular term in the community. And it's a cycle that uh, manifests in some way or another. But it's not like, oh, you know, I, I hope I don't fall. You have the thought, oh, I, you know, I could, I could cross the street and get hit by a car here. And then you cross the street and get hit by the car. And so thankfully, it doesn't work like that. You know? Singular or a small chain of negative thoughts, negative, uh, you know, meanderings in your mind is, is very, very normal for almost all of us. It's how we're reacting to it that, that pay, plays a much bigger deal in how our, our life unfolds, how it manifests, how it demonstrates in the 3D, as people like to say. This is one huge reason why I think if you're new to this stuff or just want to get a different perspective of how to, quote unquote, manifest a better life, you should consider consider doing something like the seven day mental diet of Emmett Fox, especially if you don't have like a technique or approach that works for you. If you're struggling to figure out a, a technique or approach that works for you when it comes to applying these manifesting principles, the seven day mental diet of Emmett Fox will help. If you have a hard time believing in these ideas but you want to believe or you want more clarity about whether they're legit or not and you're skeptical, the seven-day method of Emmett Fox will help you get that clarity. I'm going to put a link above to a playlist I've done about the seven-day method of Emmett Fox. Um, again, what makes it so powerful of an exercise is that you will become, if you watch your thoughts for seven straight days, or even if you're not able to do it and make it through seven days, only make it through a couple days. If you watch your thoughts in such a way, you will realize that you have a ton of negative thoughts probably. But it's not the negative thoughts in and of themselves that are making your life miserable. It's how you're reacting to them. It's how you're reacting to them. Your reactivity towards those negative thoughts is what's screwing you over most of the time, not the actual negative thoughts in and of themselves. The point of the seven-day mental diet, you know, Fox says in the, that short, brilliant pamphlet, is to simply not dwell in any of these negative thoughts for seven straight days. So you can be having negative thoughts throughout the day, but you just don't dwell in them. You do not allow yourself to dwell in them. He gives that great metaphor of, you know, having a fire and like a cinder, a hot cinder shoots out of the fire and onto your, onto your shirt and you wipe it off your shirt quickly, you're not going to get a hole in your shirt. But if you wait a couple seconds and then wipe it off, well, you've got a hole in your shirt. If you wipe it off quickly, you're not dwelling in it. You're not dwelling in the negativity. And if we take it to kind of an extreme example and for a week straight, do not allow ourselves to dwell in any of these negative thoughts. Perfectly aware that we're having negative thoughts, but we're just not allowing ourselves to dwell in them for seven straight days. If we do this for a week straight, which is not easy, but if we do it, we will start to see that reactivity, not our thoughts ourselves, not, not, not our thoughts in and of themselves, not what we're imagining just thought after thought, but our reactivity to that stuff is either what's helping us or hindering us. We want to learn how to react more calmly, more peacefully, more joyfully to our thinking. And in my opinion, that's what so much of this law of assumption and law of attraction advice is about. And it's under discussed and sensationalized and simplified, overly simplified in a simplistic manner, which kind of masks the underlying stuff that's going on. And a lot of that underlying stuff is about thinking and being less reactive. So I hope that this uh, helped 
this short video. Again, if you uh, want SP help, you can fill out the questionnaire and get a free consultation from Marvin and myself. And whether or not you're looking for SP help, I encourage you to attend the uh, seminar that Marvin and I are going to have October 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern because what we're going to talk about plays into every relationship, not just romantic relationships, but all social relationships and social interactions. Uh, so yeah, that's October 7th at 5 p.m. Links for all that stuff is below. If you have questions, I can be reached over at radicalcounselor.com. Enjoy.